Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you some of the um, common scenarios in terms of change calculation. So for example right now you see a table where I have this year and date and if I show you it is nothing but you have year date and let me also add day over here and what it is showing you that on a yearly or daily or monthly basis what is your order right. So let's say you are a big company and you are receiving every day hundreds of orders and you want to analyze let's say day over day change whether you have received more order compared to the previous day or not. So this is like one of the common requirement not just in retail but anywhere uh, rather whether it is an order or incident or anything right you want to understand uh, is this improving or is this uh, declining well if you are receiving more orders it is improving but let's say in IT industry if you are having more incident then it is a declining sort or not good not a good factor so based on the industry it can change and accordingly you can change the requirement okay before that uh, just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then I would like to basically mention this uh, Google sheet where I keep you know all of my videos related to uh, what I'm publishing so these are all the videos up until row number 265 which I have published the title is present here and the information in column B so you can come over here look any of the previously created how to video or uh, any dashboards or any tips and tricks that I have published and jump on to that using the link column B and also some exercises which I have published okay and uh, with that let me go back to power yeah all right, so the way we can do the day over day change is by simply creating a new measure and that is basically a measure to get the previous day. So previous day and uh, with that I will say within the calculate I need a count of orders so I will have a distinct count because I know that in my data set I have multiple orders ID which are duplicate so I want to get a distinct count. So here is the distinct count and in the distinct count I need order ID right and then what I need is the filter. So for the previous day I will going to use the date add function which in this I need to specify the dates so that my date is the order date right this is the order date which you see on which date the order was placed so order date dot date comma and then the interval minus one right which is to go back to previous day and then I specify over here day as it is suggesting so what it does is it basically goes back to the previous day and give me the information about my um, about my previous day so first thing first let's just finish it up and then we will say previous day and I will put previous day over here okay so what I get previous day five which will be let's say because I have filtered on 2019 so if I show you I selected 2019 and 20 so whatever is coming on 2018 last day is basically coming over here then one is coming over here three is coming over here two is coming over so what we have done is we have brought in the previous day information and shifting it now it's about calculating the change so the change we need to calculate by again creating a new measure which is basically day over day change D O day over day change and using the divide function um, we will going to call out the distinct count of order ID right minus the previous day so the change formula is current day minus previous day divided by previous day that's how basically you calculate the change percentage okay so you click it over here and that way your measure is now present and you can go in and put it out there so if you see if you just go by from 1st of January over here so you have one from 1 it is to 3 right so it's a positive from 3 to 2 then it is a negative change so if I show you change and I change this to percentage that will give you the exact percentages over here alright so 1 to 3 positive 200% change 3 to 2 
negative 300 percent 33 percent 2 to 1 50 percent 1 to 0 100 percent down then for 2 because there was nothing so nothing is coming over here again from here no change right the order is always 2 so this basically goes in into creating a formula where if i have summarized you need to first create this previous day and then you need to create this day over day change formula to uh, create this calculation so that is something which i wanted to show you how easy and straightforward it is to create a formula like this within power bi to calculate anything which you want to do day over day with that thank you so much i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic